As you know, we've already done a video on who could become Manchester United's first ever sporting director. And we took a look at the candidates who have been linked with that role. Rio Ferdinand, Andrea Berta, Paul Mitchell, Edwin van der Sar. Now, Darren Fletcher is being heavily linked to becoming the first ever technical director at Manchester United. Fletcher, would he be a good candidate for the role? Does he have any sort of experience in that role? What we're going to do is run through everything that you need to know about Fletcher potentially becoming United's first ever technical director. Before we get into it, as you know, if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button and get involved in the community. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video. Let's get straight into it. So what is the story and where is it coming from? It's coming from Sky Sports, who are reporting that Fletcher is a leading candidate for the role to become United's new technical director. The report suggests that Fletcher has already held conversations with Man United over the role, and it says that the technical director will act as the glue between the manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and the board and Ed Woodward, and wouldn't be a transfer expert as such. So it wouldn't really have too much to do with the recruitment. Now that last bit really is crucial because... That would be for one of two reasons. Number one, it will be because United are smart and United are separating the roles and they're going to bring someone else in to be ahead of recruitment and just work on that, like Paul Mitchell is at RB Leipzig. Number two, it's simply because Ed Woodward doesn't want to relinquish his power at the club and he still wants the final say over who comes in to Manchester United this summer. I know which one of the two I'd rather be true, but we all know it's probably the latter. And that is a massively worrying thing. Regardless of who gets the role, if the power isn't taken away from Woodward, it's nothing more than a trophy position. It wouldn't mean much, it wouldn't change much at United. Now, this is not the first time that Darren Fletcher's name has been linked with a role at United. A few weeks ago, at the end of April, Sam Wallace at The Telegraph reported that Fletcher was being eyed up for more of a recruitment type role. To be involved with Mike Phelan and working alongside him in terms of recruiting new players and organising United's scouting network. Now since then, Mike Phelan has become United's assistant manager and it's a completely and utterly different role to what Sky Sports are saying. And that sort of is a major confusion I've got about this whole thing, whether United are gonna get a sporting director or not. What is the role? Is it just one role? Or is it going to be a head of recruitment and a new chief scout and a new technical director, a new sporting director? Are we just hiring one person or are we going to be hiring multiple people in multiple positions? That's very confusing, which I'm sure you're confused about it too. But Fletcher, right now from Sky Sports, is getting linked with a technical director role and apparently not really being involved in recruitment, but focusing on the identity side of things at United and re-establishing those values back into the team and to the club as a whole. So does Darren Fletcher have any sort of experience in the role? No. Fletcher was still playing football this season for Stoke City, and ever since leaving United and playing for West Brom and playing for Stoke, he's still been playing football the whole time. Now, he did start his coaching badges at United when he did have his ulcerative colitis condition, but in terms of experience in the role of becoming a technical director of a club, Fletcher has zero experience and the only reason that his name is being linked with the role is because he's an ex-United player who came from the academy, who played under Fergie and was part of a very successful United team. That's his resume. That's his CV. It's got nothing to do with the structures of running a football club, with the structure of being a technical director. Nothing. It's just another old boy named as a leading candidate simply for the fact that he is an old boy. And if that doesn't scare you, it really, really should. Of course, there are other candidates still being linked with the role and Paul Mitchell is one of them, currently the head of recruitment at RB Leipzig. And Sky Sports are reporting that Red Bull are ready to make Paul Mitchell the head of global football for all of Red Bull's teams. They've got one in New York, one in Salzburg, one in Brazil, and obviously Leipzig too, that's four teams. Why would Paul Mitchell want to leave that infrastructure of being the head of global football for the whole of Red Bull, which is definitely going to improve and get bigger, and come to United where there are no conditions to work? We have no structure. We have no infrastructure for a technical director to come in and do his job properly. Whoever has to come into this role has to create that role, has to create the structure. So while I agree with Gary Neville here that 
we do need the best in class and the idea of just getting old boys in scares the crap out of me and I think it's a massively wrong decision. You can't really want the best in class and offer them the worst in class in terms of conditions. There is no infrastructure at United. Whoever comes in has to create it. So maybe it's an impossibility for United to get the best in class this summer because we can't give them the working conditions they need to succeed. And Ed Woodward would be a big part of that as well because if someone like Paul Mitchell came in, he'd want the power and control. And maybe that's why United are looking at all these ex-players. It's because United won't give that control to this person because they won't let Ed Woodward away from the footballing side of things completely. And that's simply because he's a Glazers puppet. And that's question marks you really have to ask because surely United, after having months and months and months of planning, are not just going to appoint Darren Fletcher as a technical director. That's about the same as getting David Moyes in just on the recommendation of Alex Ferguson. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. So would Fletcher be a good technical director? I think I've made my opinions clear on the idea that Rio Ferdinand, Mike Phelan, any other players linked before him, they all stink of a fan-appeasing appointment by United simply to bring a yes-man into the club and to not properly challenge the structure of the power that exists at United. That's what it feels like with Fletcher as well. It's what it felt like with Rio. It's what it felt like with Phelan. United are such a big club that we must have been... Surely we've been planning this for some time. For all the leading candidates to basically be ex-players means there is no plan. It's just, ah, oh, go on, just bring an ex-player in. And don't talk to me about Edwin van der Sar. Ah, oh, look, it worked with Edwin van der Sar at Ajax. He had a master's degree in sports brand management and worked in the marketing department at Ajax before he was promoted up to becoming Ajax's CEO, a position which already existed in a club which has a fantastic structure. And yes, they've got Mark Overmars. And yes, they've got Edwin van der Sar but they've got the structure that allows those players to work properly. At United, we've got an overseeing Sith Lord in Ed Woodward, who's still somehow in power, archaically, despite his, down, his utter failures in his job role, he's still got the power. So until that structure changes, I don't think United can really look towards getting X players in, because the structure doesn't exist to allow them to succeed. So to think that Darren Fletcher could come into the club this summer, create the infrastructure and be successful straight away, that's just as mad as expecting United to compete for the Premier League this year. United have to just buck their ideas up, man. It's not rocket science. You need a good structure for success to follow. You can't expect Rio or Mike Phelan or Fletcher to come in and make that structure themselves when they have no experience in that role whatsoever. Give them the conditions they need to succeed, and maybe they will. But I just can't see Fletcher coming in and being a fantastic technical director. Sure, they, Fletcher's got a lot of characteristics that I want back in this United dressing room. Nobody worked harder than Fletcher. Nobody was more committed than Fletcher. But the role of the technical director at the club is not to come in and G up the dressing room. That's for Solskjaer to do with his new signings, get rid of the players he doesn't want, bring in the players he does want. What this technical director needs to do is lead the vision of our club. And that can't simply be because Fletcher was a decent player for United, he had the right attitude, he worked hard. Cool, there's some characteristics, but that's not the experience of running a club of United's size. It's not the first thing you look for on the CV of a technical director. Or the last thing. But it seems that's the main thing that United are looking for. And it's just an utter shambles, really, to think that might be the main recruitment process that United are going through in getting this appointment right, which is one of the single most important appointments we will ever make. We haven't had a technical director. It's a, it's a reason why our club's lost its identity. The vision's disappeared. This technical director needs to come in and re-establish that. But he needs experience as well. And I just, it scares me to think that United really are just looking at Fletcher and Rio. It really, really does. And then add in the fact that maybe Fletcher would have absolutely no say over recruitment, which was a major reason why we needed a technical director. And because the recruitment's been so bad for six years, because Woodward's been in control of it, 
And maybe the technical director, be that Fletcher or somebody else, won't have any say over recruitment. What's the point in making the appointment in the first place if you're not going to fix the problem they need to fix? I mean, is there any decision that this football club makes that doesn't make you scratch your head? I don't know. I can't remember one. But Fletcher to United as a technical director, it's not just hot air. There have been reports and murmurs for weeks now behind the scenes that Fletcher has been contacted and it seems that is the case. But maybe Fletcher will be part of a wide set of appointments in different roles like head of recruitment, head of strategy, head of scouting, in a complete restructure of United's backroom staff. Maybe it will just be Fletcher as a sole technical director and the individual appointment that United made this summer. Maybe it won't be Fletcher at all. But these are the latest developments on United's search for a, some sort of new setup in the background. What's your take on the idea that maybe Darren Fletcher will be United's technical director? Do you really feel strongly that an ex-player can do it because he knows the club inside out? Or is experience your most important asset for whoever comes in? We've already talked about it when looking at Rio and Mike Phelan, but Darren Fletcher? Let me know what you think about Darren Fletcher. Uh, if you're new to United People's TV and you're still here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. Until next time though, take it easy.